Do you know what? I was thinking about this on the car ride home and I think this could be pretty controversial, I reckon, because, again, oh boy. Um, you know how there's that saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Yes. I reckon that's true 10% of the time. Ooh, 10%. That's a big, reckon, that's a big take. Mate, 10% of the time. I'll say, I used to work in a supermarket. Fact or cap? <laughs> Come back for the next episode. <laughs> um, I would, I used to work in a supermarket and I don't, I don't care what people say. If I see a guy with no shirt, a trench coat, and a beer sticking out of his po- out of his pocket, and a smoke in his in his mouth, I'm going to be watching him for stealing. Oh, hundred percent. And guess what? Real quick, shock. He steals. <laughs> like, Who would have guessed? Like, not all me. The time. There's never if uh, there was never a scenario where I would walk in and I would keep my eye on him. Like, hey, mate, sorry, like. Are you going to pay for that? And him, be, and him taking the durry out of his mouth and going, Dari. I'm so sorry, mate. Look, it's just for me and my wife. We're having a bit of a dress up today and we're kind of dressing up as Darrow's. So we <laughs> wanted to just have a role play. I'm actually a nice guy. That would never happen. I'll give you a perfect example of one thing that did happen. <laughs> that, minus the trench coat, came in we and started putting um, chocolate ice creams in his pockets. Right. It's never a good idea. Chocolate ice creams in his pockets that were sticking out. <laughs> he like he shut himself. Bro, <laughs> oh, I swear I've just shut myself. It's not anything. <laughs> and I, was, I was like, oh my God. So I can see the ice creams. And then a customer came over and told me that he was pulling Christmas lobster out of the frozen aisle and putting it down his pants. How annoying, just quickly on that. Yeah, it was so, annoying. So, <laughs> how, how annoying is it though when a customer's like, I think this, it's like, mate, you trust me. What? It's like how a customer might be like, oh, excuse me, excuse yeah. me, Luke. I um, I was just down aisle five and I, I think I saw someone. And it's like, bitch, I've been looking at the person ever since they walked in. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how to shop. Don't tell me how to look for. I, I've had my eye. Don't, don't tell me how to look for thieves. Right? <laughs> you get paid by the minute on this shit. I know Spe- what I'm speaking doing. Of, speaking of thieves, show me your bags. <laughs> Actually, Paul Black, and he just comes across on his fucking little moped. So a little scoot. He came. I remember he came out, and I had to confront him and just be like, "Mate, I can actually see the ice cream coming out of your pockets." And then he just went nuts, and he's like, "I'm not a thief. I'm not a stealer. How dare you!" And then he pretended to swing at me, and I'm like, "Oh!" And then Ooh, he missed and, me. Yeah. <laughs> and then he yelled out something about ISIS. Oh, and I was like, oh my Very 